Hi, this is Darren Steinle. I'm the Director of Field Service for the Northern Lights Council, and I'm glad you stopped by the home base camp uh, to learn some scout skills. Now, if you're looking to learn some different knots, I would point you, point you to some of the other videos that we have on, on the uh, website. You can learn things like the square knot, clove hitch, bowline, all those types of things. What I'm going to show you today is a little step before, uh, beyond that. Uh, give you a little, uh, some fun to do with rope and kind of amaze your friends. So the first one that I'm going to show you, um, and basically just have a chunk of rope, um, I'm going to show you how to tie the figure eight knot or a stopper knot, which is uh, used at the ends of rope for different things. Now, the main way that you do this, and I'll step in a little bit closer, is you start off with a loop like this. You kind of reach in and you make two twists, and then your standing end goes through the loop. Okay, and so you get a figure eight knot or a stopper knot that you, looks like that, goes on the end of your rope. Okay, now what I'm going to show you how to do this a little bit fancier or with a little bit of magic. So I'm going to hold my rope out here in my left hand and I'm going to spin the, the rope around and make a loop and then I'm going to toss this end through that loop. Okay, and now I have my figure eight knot. Okay, I'll do that one more time for you. So we hold it out here, we're going to make a loop, toss it through the middle, figure eight knot goes right on there, just like that. Kind of cool. With the same piece of rope, um, you're sitting around a campfire and you can uh, joke with your scout friends, hey, you know what, I can make this piece of rope look like it's a bird flying through the air. Well, here's how it looks. Okay, so imagine a big bird, like maybe a crane or something, that has really big wings, and they're flapping its wings. Okay, so what you do is you get one piece of rope going one way, you get the other end going the other way, and voila, you have a bird flying through the air. Now, some, some of the older people might say, oh, that looks like those clacker things. Well, they're not hitting each other and bouncing. One is going one direction, the other is going the opposite direction. So here's how you do that one. This one takes a little bit of coordination. What you want to do is you want to start off finding the middle of your rope, just like this, and we're going to hold it in our hand like this. So there's a top and a bottom, not sideways like this, but this way. So there's a top rope and a bottom rope. Okay. The top rope I'm going to put in my left hand and hold it straight out. And with my other hand, I'm going to spin this one so it's counterclockwise. Now, here's where the coordination comes in. You have to hold your hand, and the movement is up and down, straight up and down while you're making the, the rope spin. Most people will start going like this, and what ends up happening is your ropes end up looking like that. Not very impressive. So the key thing here is your hand has to go straight up and down. So holding it, one, the top rope in our left hand, the bottom rope, I'm gonna spin that one. When I'm looking at it, it's gonna be counterclockwise. You're looking at it going clockwise, okay? And then once I have my rhythm down, my hand is going straight up and down, then I toss the other rope straight up in the air and keep my hand moving, okay? This hand cannot stop, because as soon as it slows down, as soon as it stops, uh, your ropes will get out of whack. Okay, so that's the flying bird trick using a piece of rope. Okay, another one that you can do uh, with this rope too is everybody probably knows how to do an overhand knot uh, or a granny knot. It's just simple like that. It's the start of a square knot. Okay, the one thing when you're tying a knot like that is you end up having to let go of the rope. Okay, when this crosses over, you have to reach underneath and grab it and pull it. Okay, I'm going to show you real quick one way how to do this without letting go of the rope, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, in my right hand, I'm gonna put that on my forearm, pull it down a little bit, and I'm gonna go in front of this one, and then come up this way, and then back of the middle rope, and then I'm gonna pull it sideways like this, and then all I do is just go whoop, like that, and there I've got the knot right in the middle, okay? Now that one, I'm not gonna tell you how to do that one because magicians, don't give away all their secrets. So I already showed you how to do the, the figure eight knot. Now I'm gonna show you how to use these pieces of rope um, 
to expand on the clove hitch. Now a clove hitch, the way that I learned how to do this, is you make one loop like this with uh, the long end of the rope is on top and you make another loop exactly the same, okay? So it looks like a pair of eyeglasses and then the right one goes underneath and behind the left one. And then you'd put your stick or uh, pole or whatever you have in there. And this is your, this is the start of your, your clove hitch, okay? And this is used for pioneering um, and tying up your boat, whatever. Very easy to untie, you just pull it straight up and it comes apart. Okay, now what I'm gonna show you is how to make a lot of knots. You're gonna amaze your friends by just expanding on the clove hitch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make, start off with our clove hitch. So right there, I've got those two loops. I put this one behind. Now, if I stop right there and put my thumb in there and pull it tight, it'd be a clove hitch. What I'm gonna do is keep adding loops and putting it behind the last one. Keep adding a loop, put it behind the last one. Okay, now when I, when I have them all together, what I'm gonna do is you see there's a hole in the middle and I'm gonna take this short little end and I'm gonna put it through the hole and I'm gonna grab it coming out the other side. Now, if you kind of hold your rope so they don't get all mangled up, you can pull it through and all of a sudden you get a whole bunch of overhand knots, okay? Now, that didn't look too uh, impressive because I did it really slow for you, but when you do it a little bit faster or with some flair, going like this, making our loops, Okay, and then I'm gonna pull the rope through. Boom, I got the knots on there, okay? Now, one other way that we can do this one is you can actually do it one-handed. And a one-handed lots of knots. We make the loops a little bit bigger so it, it's easier to slide off my hand. Then I'm gonna put my hand through the middle like this and with my index finger and my middle finger, I'm gonna pinch those together and hold the, the little uh, short end. And then I'm just basically gonna throw it off. And now I've got the three knots that magically jumped on that rope, okay? And so now you've learned how to do the figure eight. Uh, you've learned how to um, make the, the flying bird and lots of knots. And the last one I'm gonna show you is called threading the needle. So in Scouts, we earn all these patches, you have to learn how to sew. Hardest part is learning how to thread a needle. So imagine if this is the eye of my needle, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this thread and I'm gonna th thread it through the eye of the needle as fast as I can, okay? So I'm pretty good at this. Now, the one thing is an eye of a needle is not that big, okay? It's much smaller. So we're gonna make it a little bit smaller, okay? And now, Watch real close, I'm gonna line it up, boom, there it goes right through there, okay? Make it even a little trickier, I'm gonna put that figure eight knot on here. Got our figure eight knot on the end of this rope. Gonna make my eye of my needle as small as I possibly can. I'm gonna get close to this so you can see it. Okay, right there, eye of the needle. And now I've got my rope with the knot on it and I'm gonna th thread it right through, okay? So, you know, I learned uh, a lot of knots when I was growing up in Scouts, and then sitting around the campfire, um, there were some people that would teach me some rope tricks, and I, I thought they were kind of fun. And so I picked some up, either through the Cub Scout Magic Book or some other books that you can get at your library. And when you're sitting around a campfire, you can share these with your Scout friends, and uh, they'll be amazed. Maybe not really totally amazed, but, you know, isn't it kind of cool to make a piece of rope? Look like a bird flying through the air. All right, anyway, it's not everything, it's not something that everybody can do, so you'd have a skill that you could beat everybody else with. So thank you for uh, visiting the home base camp. Make sure to check out some of the other videos on here and, and some of the challenges. And if you do three, now you've already watched this video, so that's one. If you do two more activities, uh, let us know and we'll send you a home base camp patch uh, for doing some scouting at home. Thank you very much. Good morning, afternoon. Camp Wilderness. We want to let you know that we are excited to be planning your 2020 summer camp experience at Camp Wilderness. We have a ton of new programs this year, including the Horsemanship Merit Badge, Golf Merit Badge, Fire Safety Merit Badge, Canoe Outpost, Extended Periods of Free Time, and a whole lot more. 
Be sure to check out our webpage, nlcbsa.org forward slash summer camp to learn all about it. Make sure to let your Scoutmaster know what programs you want to take this summer. We look forward to welcoming you home to the trails of Camp Wilderness this summer.